Now we're going to be working on exporting your recording and uploading it to the internet. For that I am going to bring back my Camtasia window and in this case I have my news map recording in it. Later on we're going to cover all the different aspects of this interface. At this moment I would like you to go to produce and share. Once that you get this window, chances are the very first option that you're going to see is to share to screencast. I would like you to please go to this drop down menu, click on the downward arrow and select MP4 only up to 720p. Once that you have done that, click on next. Once that you have selected a production name and the location for your recording, you come over here and you click on the finish button. This process of rendering normally is fairly long or is a lot longer than when you produce other type of media. So whenever you're producing videos, I do recommend that you take some time to plan for this rendering of the video and also later on for the uploading of the video. At this moment, I'm going to pause and I'm going to wait for this to be very close to 100 to continue the recording. Okay, we're almost there. Once that the rendering is complete, you're going to get a production results window just like this one. And you're going to see some of the details regarding your own production, how big it is, its final dimensions, and so on. If you would like to see the actual file, you can open this production folder and you're going to be sent to the location where you decided to save your production. Also, something that is going to happen when you do this is that it's going to automatically open your production in your default media player. In my case, I am using QuickTime at this moment, but for you, it could be the Windows media player. So I'm going to close this video. I'm going to open the production folder. I'm going to click on finish here. And now I'm going to work on uploading this file to the internet. The first step is to upload it to YouTube. And I am not going to cover the details about how to create an account with YouTube, um, but it is available for everybody and once that you create that account in YouTube the uploading of the file should be fairly simple. I'm gonna click and drag. Now YouTube goes through two different processes. The first one is uploading the file and once that the file has arrived to their server they actually process the file so it can be presented in Google. This might also take a little bit of time. When it's finally done, you're going to see this message over here and you're going to be able to select among different video thumbnails for your video. Also, you're going to be able to select if you want this video to be public, unlisted or private, add a description and so on. Once that all of this is set, you click on done and your video is going to be available in YouTube at that moment. The next one is to upload the video to Google Drive and it works in the same way as YouTube does. It doesn't really matter here what it is that you select. You can click on Start Upload. Once again, the process is going to be similar. First, it uploads the file and second, it reformats the file so it can be played by Google. So if you open this recording right away after you have uploaded it, chances are you're not going to be able to see it because it's not processed yet. But give Google a little bit of time and then you're going to be able to watch your video as if you were in YouTube but it's actually located in Google Drive. Once that the reformatting has taken place, you will see the video appear on your browser just as it does in YouTube and it has more or less the same type of interface. In the same way that you can share any document in Google Drive, you can select to share this video just with a few people or publicly. But we're going to cover details about these later on in the tutorial. Finally, you can upload the video file to a regular server 
like the one you have access in your own university. In this case, I just selected one of the folders in my own server account and I am going to click and drag the MP4 directly there. Once that the recording has made it, I can check that this will play directly on the browser. And there it is. I have copied and pasted the URL into the browser window and I got as a result a video that covers the full screen of the browser with very basic controls for playing. Because we exported an mp4 file, this file is going to stream no matter what server you placed it on. So those are the three different methods for you to upload your recording to the internet. And now you have a good idea of what are the steps necessary for you to be able to record these videos and upload them to the internet so your students can experience them.